six bears and another one is right here. That's why they call it Big Bear Country out there, baby. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you live. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. I thought I'd get it in, but Motormouth got it. Motormouth, this week we're gonna head up to Alberta, eh? We're gonna go up there with Big Bear Country. We're gonna do some bear hunting, go bearing down with Jason Packard. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, it's my turn. This week's lucky logo, no, you paused. It's not my fault. This week's lucky logo is Cabela's, so look for the Cabela's logo. Favorite place to shop. Yep, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. Bear hunting, three different types. Oh, is it my turn now? Yes, it is your wow. turn. Wow, have you noticed something? Okay, here's the deal. You got dogs, you hunt them with dogs, you spot right. and stalk, right. and you bait hunt. There's right. the three, and it's real simple. And you know, some people say, well, you know, baiting's not fair. The reality of it is, is some areas, that's the only way to get a bear, right. to bring them out, big and you have timber, to hunt them. Big timber management tool, you're gonna have to do it this way. That's what it is, and like we say, it's the choice. State, province, or country, if it's legal in your area, hey, let's just hunt. Too much coffee. <laughs> Our long trip up to Zama City always starts in Edmonton. Joe and I got in late that night on the flight and drove into Mayor Thorpe, Alberta that evening. Well, while we were in town, one of the locals told us about the Fallen Four Memorial Park, which is there in Mayor Thorpe. And what it is, is it's a memorial park that's put up in honor of all the fallen peace officers that have either died or been killed in the line of duty. It's a really, really cool site to look at. We stopped and got some really cool photos and uh, got back on the road and finished a 12 hour drive up into Zama City and Big Bear Country Outfitters. We just hit the Zama City entrance. We call it Access Road. And um, I'm telling you what, I was excited coming up, but I was up here about five years ago. I know the stretch, I know the end of this, and I know what Jason has. And now I'm getting stoked. My man Freddie and I are gonna give it hell in Alberta, baby. Come on, Freddie, let's go see Pack. Freddie was on the bait pile first this morning, so I'm a little behind. Yeah. The big dominant bear always gets on the bait first. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's got a beaver we're gonna tie up here on the ridge pole. We're gonna set a camera. He's got some good sign in here. We're just not sure if he's a good enough bear. So we won't be hunting this tonight. But uh, if it's a good bear, maybe Freddy on him tomorrow night after we check it tomorrow. Well, I'm filming Joe hang up the trail camera and I look up over the LCD screen of the camera and sure enough, here comes a bear. I look up and there's a bear coming down the trail right into the site that we're standing at. And Jason and Joe and Riley and the guys all take a knee and just kind of kneel down and see what this bear is going to do. And sure enough, this bear comes right in on us. <laughs> hey, bear. Respect him a bit though. No. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Riley just brought us about, I don't know, 30 minute drive probably down here. We got about a mile and a half in by quad. He's going to take Freddie in first. And we've got a bait here tonight. I think uh, Packer was saying there's three bears on his bait one with a scar, one with a blaze, and then just a gag or big old black bear. So we got we to gotta look at the two. One with the scar looks like he's probably a shooter too, and the blaze is probably a shooter, and the other one's a no-brainer. So if they come in, I think it's game on if we decide it's a, a quality bear. Yeah, I 
Connor's getting her camera set up. We just got in the tree. Crazy. Big bear country is crazy. Maybe six foot, maybe. This bear walked in on us setting up. Doesn't care. We're gonna hold tight. There's three really good bears pushing seven foot, six, six to seven foot. Those are the bears we're waiting for to judge tonight. If he comes in, we're gonna do it again and shoot that bear. Ready? This bear walked in on a setting up. He doesn't care. We're gonna hold tight. There's three really good bears pushing seven foot, six, six to seven foot. Those are the bears we're waiting for to judge tonight. How do you know it's not a boar? No, it's a sow. She's too narrow in the shoulders, it's a sow.
Ready? Yeah. He's down right there, Freddy. He's down right there. <laughs> big bear country. Oh, better big bear. The new kill zone broadhead. He's done right here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Where have you ever hunted bears like this? Where have you ever hunted bears like this? We've got a job to do here, honey. <laughs> big bear country. Oh, better be big bear. The new kill zone, man. I don't think that had any trouble putting that bear down. Are you kidding me? Hey, come on now. Northern Alberta Big Bear Country Outfitters. Freddie and I are up here. He's been here the last couple years. I shot a 7.6 up here five years ago, and this place is nuts. First night in the stand, five different bears, color phase included, and this guy walks and blows them out. All heck breaks loose. And Freddie and I said, you know what, if he comes back in, we're gonna take him. Jason told us that there was three different bears in here that he thought were shooters. Scarface, the double blaze, and this big black one. And this, you can see the girth on this bear, you can see the melon, the no neck, good big mature boar. And that sow is right here still. It's crazy, this place is nuts. Jason, Steve, thank you guys so much for having us back up. There's no place in the world we want to be in right here, right now. Ralph, Vicky, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you letting me come back up with Freddie. Him and I haven't hunted together in a long time, and we are having a ton of fun, and we are laying the footage down right here. Thank you guys so much. Riley, thanks, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Definitely appreciate it. Big diamond bear. You little rough out. You're the you're the skinny older bear. Just stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that, that that big old dominant boar Freddy, he's off the bait. So I'm gonna get me some, but I'll tell you what, there's one thing good about coming second, you make friends like this. <laughs> I got my whipped cream and the cherries. I mean, don't get any better than that. Dairy Queen, eat your heart out. <laughs> Bam! <sighs> eat your heart out, Freddy. Okay, you gotta have some of that stuff on there, too. Well, yeah, we can do that, too. We didn't say when. That's good. <laughs> Help yourself to some cherries. Yes. A bottle of lamb. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> That's why they call it Big Bear Country Outfitters, baby. set up here tonight on what they call the jerky bait. Our guide Riley came in here last night and sat this bait and there was a bomber in here. That beaver carcass is approximately eight feet off the ground and that bear had no problem reaching it. So what's it tell us? That's the bear we're here after. So it's about six o'clock, got about five hours till dark. We're gonna sit down and wait for the action to start tonight.
That's how we do it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, I'll tell you, folks. I've been blessed to come up here three years. And if you want a bear hunt, and it's something that you only want to do once and you want to do it right, get a hold of our buddies Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard at Big Bear Country Outfitters. It's night number two and we have got our second Big Bear down of the week. He is right there 35 yards from where he was shot and it's all over. Again, Ralph Vic, thank you so much. Brother man, give me love. It's been too long, been too long. Happy to be here with you. Girls at home, love you. Daddy misses you. Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard, most importantly, my Lord and Savior, that big man in the sky who keeps me standing here and upright. Look at his nails, Joe, look at that. Man. I'm telling you something, that this is a big, and I am sorry that I'm struggling so much. Everybody out there is going, Freddie, you're a great big man. How can you not handle that? Well, let me tell you something. This bear makes me look small. <laughs> This is a big, big, mature boar that is absolutely in his prime. His teeth are intact. It is just an incredible creature to be able to harvest. This is just too much fun. We almost shouldn't be allowed to have this much fun. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> we should be allowed to have this much fun. <laughs> Take your boots off. I am. I don't want to get yelled at. I am. Uh, big bears, congrats Joe Unbelievable. and Freddie. Unbelievable. That place is amazing. You know, here's the deal. That's why we go to Outfitters year after year. One, we know that the quality of the hunt is gonna be there, not only for us, but for you guys. Right, I mean, that's the whole point of that. Hey, if you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which oh, was Cabela's, Cabela's, you need to log on thechoicetv.com. Click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out the information. Someone's gonna win some great stuff from Cabela's as well as from a bunch of our other manufacturers. You know, our Lucky Logo is to do one thing, to say thank you for watching and to take care of everybody. And I mean, it, they are gonna get loaded. Did you notice stuff. that I couldn't take my boot off and talk about the Lucky Logo at the same time? I had to stop, I had to do my Lucky Logo thing. Next week's show is the Buffet Show. Buffet. <laughs> it is, it's the Buffet Show next week. <laughs> Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Help me. I, all I ask is help. I Want mean, some mud? Ugh.